Hey everybody, we're back here with our favorite places, Dollywood. Yeah. Here for the Flower and Food Festival. And not only is it the Flower and Food Festival, but it's this guy's <laughs> birthday. It's a birthday yeah. at Dollywood. So everybody tell him happy birthday down <laughs> below. Thank you, everybody, uh, yeah. in advance. Uh, so yeah, so the Flower Food Festival, we love coming every year. Um, this year, I think there's a couple of new things based on new temporaries we heard about. Uh, there's a new like little show. Uh, there's also a little butterfly mm -hmm. thing that's kind of like digital. Yeah. Uh, and of course, the food. <laughs> you and know, you, we picked up one of these love at the front eat. entrance. So it has this little book and it shows you all the things to do. There's also stickers. So every time you do something in here, you put the sticker next to that item. Yeah, which it looks is going to be really fun. Yeah, it looks really neat. And the topiaries I was just reading, they're actually called, it's called Mosaic Culture. Mosa I don't know how you pronounce that, but... So it's larger than life topiaries. It's pretty neat. So Behind these are going to be really, butterfly. really cool. Yeah, so we're looking forward to it. I'm ready to get some food in my belly. And uh, <laughs> uh, let's... It was a long time from Nashville, <laughs> so we're ready to eat. Yeah, let's, let's go. Uh, if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, be sure to subscribe and uh, let's check out the park. Let's go. Right as you come in from the preferred parking area, you can see their next event coming up. It's the summer celebration, and it looks really neat. Got the kites there, so it's like some kind of cool display there where the umbrellas usually are. And they have these little soaker things like fun noodles. We heard about that on the uh, pass holder day. Uh, so it looks like a really fun event this year. I can't wait to get back for that with the drone show and the fireworks show. And. Uh, we were actually expecting some big crowds today probably, but uh, just coming in the park, it's been very empty so far. Now it is later in the afternoon, about two, three o'clock. So it's a little bit later in the day, but definitely a lot less people than pass holder day, would it? Oh gosh. <laughs> pass holder day was completely day was packed. Insane. Yeah. And there's the Emporium. Which looks so nice inside now. It looks really Here. beautiful. I'm gonna take this and put it on you. Uh. <laughs> Today is actually Jeremy's no birthday. birthday. <laughs> so if you don't know, they give you this pin if it's your or this button, button to put on your shirt when it's your birthday. So always ask for that at the turn stalls when you get here for your special day. Looking forward to it today. And coming up here is the photo op that we always see. And it should be the flower and food photo op, which it looks like it is. Right over here. And there it is. Looks really neat with all the little seed packets there and everything else that they have. Really neat. Right here at the front, the bakery, where you can also get cinnamon bread too. Uh, you can see the cookies they have here. So the cupcakes, and the cookies, and everything else they have right here. There's like some good little treats there. All right, under the umbrellas now, it's one of our favorite features here. We love the umbrellas. And they still got the little photo op opportunities here uh, with the umbrellas right here. So you can get a couple umbrellas there and take photos. Which is really neat. And I'm not 100% sure, but I think they might have the kites up here for the next festival, based off that picture. So that'd be really neat having the kites up here. I just love these umbrellas. And look, Steph, okay. our first topiary right there. And we need to, I think, is this where we turn right to go get yep. our, our card for the food? Yeah, the langer for the flower thing, I believe. Okay. So here's the first topiary. Got the umbrella upside down and the butterflies. That looks really neat. Look at the little butterflies right here. We're running right in front of the picture. That's so neat. There's a kind of backward shot, or walking back with a little better shot there. But all these topiaries are always so cool. And we're going to head this way now uh, to the time saver area. That's where we believe we are going to pick up our uh, lanyards uh, for the... Uh... And our time saver passes. So we're staying at Dolly or at Dream More. And as part of that you get, um, what are they called? Time, time saver. savers. So we'll pick up our wristbands here for that as well. Okay. Correction. Correction. <laughs> so we did get our fast passes, our wristbands here. But the card for the flower and food is actually at the sweet, sweet shop. shop. Yeah, so last so, year it was here at Time Saver, this year at the sweet shop. So we're going yeah. to the sweet shop, pick up our lanyard real quick, and then uh, start eating some food. Let's go. Secured. I got it. <laughs> we got our lanyard now. So now we're going to go find two kids to get these fast passes too because we're not riding rides today. 
Yeah, we're not riding rides, so we give out our fast passes and then we'll get some food with our lanyard. It's the same as last year, five punches. I think it was 35 and I think we got $4 off for the gold pass. Uh, still a great deal though, but uh, yeah. let's find that food now. <laughs> yeah, let's find that food. We're coming up to the festival fair area. This is where all most of the food is. And, oh, the little topiary and the butterfly topiary. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> doing good, thank you. It's so cool that they're always out and around. So here's a butterfly topiary here. Looks really neat. And here's a little sign about it right here. I'm going to wrap our imagination in tight cocoon to protect its fragile nature from those who call us foolish and ridicule our aspirations. Every once in a while, our, our imagination pours out of that cocoon and a beautiful butterfly springs forth. It's big. That's really cool. And this is what Steph was talking about, the mo mosaic culture. Mosaic culture. So here's just a quick little sign about that. I'll hold it tight here for one second just so y'all can see it. So it's the horticulture art of creating larger than life plant sculptures using thousands of plants used to cover a still frame. That's neat. Yeah. That's really neat. And then right over here is one of our favorites. I've not seen a single person. And as I'm heading there, I'm looking off to the left, there's another butterfly over there to your left. It's really neat. And this is the coat in many colors. They had this last year as well. And it's just beautiful. There's the coat of many colors. I'm not gonna walk around just so you can see it. Just really neat. Right here next to that coat of many colors is the first little food stop we see. And I got street corn salad, sounds good. The Cuban sandwich, well, I think we got that last year, it was really good. Uh, we did, yeah. Paletas, paletas, swing foods. And then you also yeah, got this. Yeah. Remember last year I had a hard time with this? Oh, one? yeah. And the lemonade as well. That. So, I think we're going to definitely try the corn and the Cuban sandwich again. So, we're going to get in line for that and uh, give it a try. Alrighty, got our first two few food options here. We got the Cuban sandwich, which looks really good. There's a little sauce for the Cuban sandwich. And then we got the corn, street corn salad there. They call it salad, but it looks just like normal street corn. But both look really good. Theme park duck. Theme park duck. Hey, look, there's a theme park duck. <laughs> He's joining us for our Cuban sandwich and corn salad here. Alrighty, so we tried the Cuban sandwich and the little green sauce here. And then we also tried the corn salad. Uh, the corn salad's good, but it's cold. And so it'd be good if it was like a street corn, like you get like a, like a Mexican restaurant or something where it's hot. That'd be really good. If you got good flavors, the cold kind of throws it off. Uh, Cuban sandwich, just your normal good Cuban sandwich. I don't know what the green sauce is, maybe the sauce, maybe, I don't know, don't quote me on that, but the sauce is good too. Uh, so definitely recommend the, the Cuban for sure, corn salad. This is not our cup of tea yeah, with it being cold. Uh, <laughs> so, Steph was uh, over here watching the duck course. He's right below us. Yeah, he's right below us. Uh, but yeah, get the Cuban for sure. Corn salad again, this, the cold. Well, I mean, it's the salad, so I get the cold Yeah, part, it makes sense. But yeah. it's better warm, I think. These are warm, yeah, or the ears of corn, like traditional street corn. Uh, we're gonna finish off this and go get some more food. So more food options here. Uh, Southern chicken cob shaker, a Mediterranean salad shaker, chicken andouille Latin skillet, sounds good. And the strawberry lemonade, I'm gonna get some strawberry lemonade. And then cutting directly across over here. The fish and chips, which is one of my favorite items here is our fish and chips, so good. Look at those barbecue, bacon, and jam and fries. Let's look good. That for sure. It sounds should we get good. the lemonade or should we get this blue? Blue wog. Wog or woog? Woog wog. Woog. 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 It looks good. I want that Sprite. I want to try that with that. Right. Okay? Yeah, we'll do that. All Let's right, we're going to get in line and get some food. All righty, so this is our food that we just got here. So this is the traditional fish and chips. Mm -hmm. So it looks really good from last year. And this is? The bacon, jam, and fries. The top with bacon, cheese, onions, and drizzle with sweet barbecue and ranch. Looks really good. And then this. It's called the blue. Wog. 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 As the lady who sold it to us said, the blue drink. It's just called the blue drink. So there it is, the blue drink. And it's a lemonade based refresher with Sprite, pineapple juice, blue curaco, and a hint of lime. And non alcoholic, just a heads up on that. So it's non alcoholic. So it's safe for the kids. Food and drink looks good. Let's give it a try. Alrighty, given the blue, 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 blue drink. <laughs> blue, blue, blue. 
Do I like it or you like it? Let's see. I don't know how I feel. It's almost like lemonade, but like a but it's not. super soury lemonade. Yeah. Um, and the aftertaste is unique. I wouldn't buy it again. Yeah, it's definitely different. Not bad, but I'll drink different. it, but I wouldn't buy it again. Got the fish right here. So actually, this is one of my favorites. Let's see if we can try here. That fish is so good every year. And then right here is the bacon jam and fries. So give that a quick bite. The fries are pretty unique. They look like little steak fries. You see how thin they are? That could be really good uh, if I don't drop it everywhere. You have to actually get the bacon jam though. Oh yeah, those are good. Recommend the fish and chips every time and recommend those bacon jam and fries. Um, really good. We're gonna finish those off and get some more food. <laughs> <laughs> Any theme park ducks down here? Oh, there is. <laughs> There's one of two of them. The second one you barely even see. Hello, theme park ducks. Hello. and chips I just had at our food festival <laughs> before doing that. Uh, although the fishes are amazing. But yeah, that was a really good show, good addition. And inside the uh, museum is where the uh, butterfly thing is with the interactive screen. So we're gonna head over there now and see if we can go uh, check out that little interactive butterfly in the previous museum. Guys, 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 we're going to the butterfly. This is the interactive butterfly exhibit. So we so walk... enter. Yeah, this is the queue here. And normally we wouldn't take the handicap line, but there's no one in there's line. No one in and we're the only ones in here right now. And yeah, that show show is amazing. And going through here. And this is neat back here. I haven't seen it yet. We're heading that way now. Jeremy is gonna try to butterflies.
Uh, Rock, if you're watching, I can see Adventures of Rock is running through here because Rock runs everywhere and jumps. I think he did it already here at Dollywood once. Sorry, so Rock and Sandy, if you're watching, I gotta watch your video again. I think I saw Rock running through the theme park on your videos, but Rock needs to run through this whole place here and have butterflies following. Him. I know he tried to sleep behind the curtain here. That's all that. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're gonna have the butterfly room, but you don't miss this when you come to Dollywood. This is amazing. Yeah, it's so cool. came off our bridge right there. We love going to look at the fountains and we found our next flower and food food area right here. This one has the open-faced Bagolgi Sloppy Joe. That sounds really good. Korean barbecue nacho. I think those are the ones last year or something similar to what They're we had last year. similar if not that. Yeah. Those look good. Spicy Korean barbecue meatballs and the boba tea raspberry. No, thank you. They have a couple good options up here at the top. <laughs> so we're gonna get in line and they get us to show you like today there's no lines today. We've been walk on everywhere we've been today and no lines or anything, but we're gonna get some food now. All right, here's our next food item right here. This is the Korean barbecue nachos. Crispy nachos covered with barbecue marinated ground beef <laughs> and topped with diced green onion, sour cream, and melted cheese drizzle. Looks Look, pretty good. You're laughing, but I was adding <laughs> your thing to our Instagram. If you guys aren't following us on Instagram, Nerds on the Go YT. Yeah, follow us on Instagram, Nerds on the Go YT. We just tried our first by these nachos. They're pretty good. There's a look, closer look at them right there. It's like not super strong on the barbecue, but it's just it's just good. Like the meat says barbecue on it, I'm not going to taste much barbecue. There's this bagolgi. Right? Yeah, it's barbecue marinated ground beef. Oh, it's not bagolgi then. No. These are the Korean barbecue nachos. Oh, they're good. Pretty good, yeah. I, I mean, there's nothing... Nothing spectacular about them, no. I guess is the right word, but I like, got a little kick afterwards, and it's just, they're just good. <laughs> get these, they're pretty good. They're messy, like and I can't get anything to stay on the nacho. Yeah, they keep falling all over the place, but... Yeah, like I said, there's nothing like spectacular, it's just good nachos, so like, you can get them, for sure. Uh, we're gonna finish these up and see what else we can find. Just heading through the park. They had these last year, but these are always pretty cool. Storms make trees take deeper roots, but you see how they have like the garden and everything here. There's like some flower seeds on there, or looks like some flower seeds, <laughs> and uh, pretty neat. There's all the fountains. We love the fountains over there. This park is just so beautiful, so fun, and it just makes us think every time we're up here, like. We miss Opryland. <laughs> we want Opryland back. So, it's just so neat up here. And you can see the crowds are light today. Like, we're really, really impressed with this. Some more Valley Sea. Some more like happy. <laughs> <laughs> Valley Sea Company. Some more little artwork, or not artwork, but little uh, decorations they have there. That's where we started. Yeah, back to where we came from. We're going to go find some more food and then head up the hill to uh, Wildwood. Uh, Wildwood Grove. Ring-tailed rascals. <laughs> we love these last year. They were so cool. We got one on the tree there. And you have look at all these with the barrels out here. This is whole setup is just so neat. Hey, what are you looking at? Hey, you stop looking at me. Hey, what are you looking at? <laughs> these are so cool. I love these every year. These soap areas are so neat. And look at the other one that come on the little barrel there saying hello to us. These are so cool. It's awesome to have the little fountains back there behind them as well. All right, we backtracked a little bit, but we're gonna make a stop here to get this smoked mac and cheese. That sounds really good. They also have a seafood mac and cheese, and they also have this cranberry watermelon cool that sounds good as well. Uh, we're gonna give these smoked mac and cheese a try. And then another cool fountain. We, lo we love water features and fountains. So that's always cool to see that. 
Alrighty, here's our next food on the smoked mac and cheese. I think it had Gouda cheese there's in it. Smokehouse mac uh, and cheese. There's bacon in there. There's a fork from Stephanie in there. There's some yeah, fried onions. Yeah, she's gonna try it. And um, looks pretty good. So we're gonna give this a try now. Now normally we're sitting down, so we just stopped real quick to try this Gouda mac and cheese. And a little cheers. And try it here for the first time see. Mm. Oh, that's good. Yeah, thumbs up for Steph, that's really good. It's got those like, they call them the fake bacon bits, but they're so good. I love those. And oh, the, the Gouda. Oh, it's got chicken in it too. Look at that. They got a piece of chicken. Oh, yeah. Want it? I don't want it. It's very good. <laughs> Get the Gouda mac and cheese. It's so good. We're going to find some more food and more stuff on my face. All right, we're heading to uh, Wildwood Grove next and uh, just having a blast. What's your favorite food item so far? Oh, gosh. Um, Nachos, maybe? No, or that Gouda mac and cheese is mac good. Mac and cheese is better, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to have to Wawa Grove and keep trying these topiaries here. Here's the next topiaries here. The fun amphibians. The turtles. These turtles are so cool last year, too. Look at that. We have the beautiful flowers all around. We have a little water feature over here as well. And then... Oh, they got the turtle with the turtle on its back. And then we'll walk over there and show you. Look at this frog over here. So we're back behind a little water water wheel right there. And look at that frog right there. Ah, <laughs> oh, that frog is so cool. I really like that frog. The train just went above us. You know, it's a lot of smoke. It's still neat because you know that train's moving. Oh, yeah, beekeeper with the bees. <laughs> Well, this is not this is new i think and yeah, busy busy bees larger than life beekeeping is busy bee friends are hard at work over 1500 types of flowering plants look at the bee that's just really neat look at this that's his beekeeper or bee box there that's just really neat i'm just gonna walk around the front here and show you all the little bees here this is really neat, really well done. Theme park duck, theme park duck. Oh wait, it's a topiary duck. <laughs> Look at this, y'all. Ducky days. That's pretty cool. And Look at this. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> That's a good photo too with him behind the, or in front of the wheel back there. Look at that. And the theme park duck topiary. Look at that. Good to see you, theme park duck. The beautiful music you hear is the Hall Sisters. And here's another topiary right here. This is the beautiful peacock right there. Wow. All right, here's a look at the next food option here, the Fanta Float. A huge fan of Fanta, so I'm looking forward to giving the Fanta Float a try here. Alrighty, got the Fanta Float. I'm a huge fan of Fanta. And also awesome was I handed them our gold pass for the discount. Uh, she handed it back to me and then I handed her uh, my car to put in the machine. And she said, it's your birthday, so you get a free Fanta Float. So I don't know if they did that for everybody or not. That's the first time I've ever heard of it. Uh, but they gave me a free Fanta Float for my birthday. Let's, uh, let's give a little scoop try here. like an orange cream sickle kind of um, and I love Fanta and I love ice cream this is amazing so get you a Fanta um, Fanta um, what's it called again uh, um, Fanta float Fanta float. float Fanta float but that's so cool they get to know for birthday I don't, cause I, don't, I don't know if they do that for everybody but happy just, birthday but that was so nice of lady she told me happy birthday and uh, now I'm gonna steal his birthday <laughs> Fanta float in the house so Stephanie's right over there sorry sorry it's really good Oh, that's really, really, really good. Yeah, it's almost like an really orange creamsicle. Uh, so get you a Fanta Float. Mm. Fanta Float. I think the only thing we have left, we're going to try to find the Reuben corn roll or our, um, um, uh, egg rolls. Egg roll. Reuben egg roll thing with boppers. <laughs> so we're trying to find those next, and then they'll be done for the day. But we've had some awesome food. So we'll finish this up, and we'll find those um, egg rolls here in a minute. Yeah. All right, we're inside Till and Harvest now. And inside Till and Harvest is our next one we're looking for. 
We're looking forward to these right here, the Reuben Spring Rolls. These sound amazing. This is something we've been looking forward to right here is the, uh, the Reuben uh, little egg rolls here. You get four of them and a little sauce there. Yeah, looking forward to these. Look at that, we've destroyed that, uh, by half of that drink card. That was so good, that Fanta. But yeah, looking forward to these. All right, got a little uh, Reuben's here. We'll try with the sauce first, like Stephanie is. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Oh, it is spicy. Yeah, it is. They warned us a heads up. The sauce is a little spicy, told us. Mm. It's not bad, but it's a slight kick. Um, like, like Flaming Hot Cheetos is way hotter. Like I'm double that. dipping. Um, but it's a slight kick, so if you like, don't like any kick at all, don't get the sauce, but it's not bad. But don't try them by itself. Mm. Mm. Those rolls are really good. Mm -hmm. You see the side a little bit, but those are really good. It's been a good trip so far. My mouth's well sorry. <laughs> we're going to finish up these real quick and then we'll probably head out of the park next. Maybe we got all the food items we're going to try for this trip. Okay. Probably eight or nine food items, maybe. Um, we got five on the pass and we've purchased three four. more, four more, four more. So yeah, we're on with two passes this time. Yeah, we should. But uh, yeah, it's been a great, great, great adventure. So <laughs> we're gonna finish these and then walk around a little bit longer and then head out. So. All right, guys. All right, that was an awesome event again this year. Yeah. Uh, great food, great time. Mm -hmm. um, to start off with the best, nice freebie they gave me for my birthday. I'm gonna cool little button. And then the uh, the free Fanta float. Mm -hmm. That was awesome that they gave me that. He had so many staff or um, staff members. And yeah, everybody. Just everybody telling him happy birthday mm -hmm. all day long. One of the ladies even sang happy birthday to him. Yeah, she had a really good voice. Wish we had the camera ready for that, but yeah, yeah she has a really good voice and saying happy yeah. birthday to me. I didn't see Miss Lily in this trip, uh, no. but uh, still an awesome trip. Uh, fish and chips is one of my favorites of all time. I get that last year. Got that this year. It was really good. That mm -hmm. Fanta float was really good. I'm looking at the book. I'm trying to remember everything um, that we ate. And, uh, oh, the Reuben egg rolls. Those are really good. That's one of my top favorites, too. The Cuban sandwich. That's always good. I think I had that last year. Mm -hmm. the, the bacon uh, chicken Gouda mac cheese was good. Um, mm-hmm, really good. Chicken and bacon was in that. See, they had seafood mac and cheese, if you're into that. Yeah. Um, what else did we get? We got the Korean barbecue nachos. Yeah, those are good. Those are good. Those are really good. Nothing special, but they were good nachos. Um... Oh, we're going to get our pretzel. We're going to get yeah, a pretzel. Yeah, we're going to get the pretzels are shaped like butterflies yeah. here. We're going to get one. We'll get them next time. Um, yeah, the show was good. The new show they mm -hmm. have with the people on the little poles up there. That's it. And uh, the butterfly interactive exhibit. Mm -hmm. and we love the museum. That was really cool. Uh, but that, that was a really cool. I don't know if it's going to be mm -hmm. permanent or what they're going to do with that space yet. But that was really awesome. We caught all mm -hmm. the butterflies on our hands. And mm -hmm. uh, they followed us around. And that was really neat. Uh, the food was good. The drinks were good this year. Uh, just everything. Just a, another good event at Dollywood. Uh, so definitely check out the Flower and Food Festival. Um, yeah. Have a good birthday. Yeah, yeah. It was a good yeah. birthday. We're probably have some dinner tonight. Uh, we're probably going to Cherokee Grill tonight for dinner. Not going to film that tonight. We do have a video we'll put in the description below of Cherokee Grill. Yeah. Uh, Cherokee Grill is really good. Prosperity steak is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to have to like roll like a Humpty Dumpty over there. I'm so full. Um, we don't go for like three hours. <laughs> yeah, I got three or four hours left before yeah. dinner time. Uh, but we're gonna head back to Dream More now. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll put a, uh, a video soon of Dream More, um, and then we'll stay at the uh, reunion suite this time. We we'll stay at the Dolly Parton suite in the past. Put the Dolly Parton suite down in the description below. Uh, and yeah, I think it's just an awesome event. And uh, next up is the summer celebration event, drone show. I think they're doing fireworks show again. Mm -hmm. And also they had some. Maybe kites where the umbrellas were, and then uh, the fun noodle, little uh, water fountain thingies. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. Those look pretty cool. So we're looking forward yeah. to that. So uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for joining us as always, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye, Bye. everybody.